Okay, so let's have a look at the HRM, the HTTP Routing Mesh, a great tool for routing host names to applications. So this is what we'll build. We'll start out with a UCP cluster and we'll deploy two services against it. We'll call one red and the other white. Red's going to respond to requests to red.example.com and white to white.example.com and both on port 80 via any node in the cluster. So here we are in UCP. Uh, the first thing we need to do is come up to admin settings here and turn on the HRM. So that's literally just this checkbox here and because we want port 80, we're actually good to go. Now behind the scenes, this checkbox does a bunch of things. Like if we come over here to resources, and then if we look at system services, it's created this UCP HRM service here. And also here under networks, we should have the same. Right, there we go. Well, that's the HRM configured. Now for the red service. So call it red, obviously. We'll go with this image here. And you know what, we'll go with 10 replicas for this one. And we'll want to remember this in a minute. The red service is the one with 10 replicas. We'll also add this close con flag here. But know this, right? This is specific to the image we're using. It's nothing to do with the HRM config. Speaking of which, okay, on the resources tab here, Okay, so this is where we configure it for the HRM. We'll publish a port. Now, the app in this image listens on 8080. We'll publish it, okay, already here on the ingress network. And we'll pick uh, 3333, okay? Now, this last bit here doesn't matter because it's going to use the HRM, which is listening on port 80. Then underneath here, this is where we tell it we want it to respond to requests for red.example.com. And see here, we're just using vanilla HTTP. Okay, then we put it on the UCP HRM network. Okay, thanks for telling us that. But there we go, right? It's these bits here that put the service on the HRM. Now, one last thing, if we come up to environment settings here, we'll add an environment variable called title. And because this is the red service, we'll call it red. All this does is, right, when the web page loads, it'll say red on it. It's just a way to help us know that we actually have reached the red service. And remember, it'll be the one with 10 replicas. But that's it. Let's deploy. Okay, so while this one's deploying, let's go and create the white service. But you know what? We'll do this one from the command line. So we're on a UCP manager node here. And we're deploying a service. It's exposing port 8080. We're attaching it to the UCP HRM network. We're giving it that important label that matches it to the URL we want it to respond to, white.example.com. We're calling the service itself white, passing it white as the environment variable name this time, and we're telling it the image. Now, we could give it more options, but you know what? That'll do for this demo. And that's it. So, if we look at our diagram again real quick, We've got a cluster and we've added two services, one called red and one called white. They're both configured for the HRM, so we should be able to reach them both on port 80. And we labeled them up so that red here would get traffic for red.example.com and white would get it for white.example.com. So let's go try it in a browser. And I think we'll give red a try first. Okay, so this here is the environment variable we gave it. So that's one of the reasons we know we're hitting the red service. But also, we can see that it's cycling through 10 replica containers. So we know that that works. How about white, though? OK, there we go. We've got white here. And because we didn't specify a number of replicas on the command line, I mean, we could have, but we didn't. So we just got a single one. So yeah, two services on the same cluster, both sharing the same port but having requests routed based on the contents of the HTTP headers up at layer 7 in the stack. Great stuff. To learn more, come and visit us at www.docker.com enterprise.